Now, it may be a warm Saturday night here in San Antonio, Texas, but me a Friday is cool as ice any day of the week, Veda Scott. You know just as well as I do. Uh, it is always Friday when Mia's in the house, and you're right about that. It is hot as heck here in San Antonio. I was not expecting that. But Mia Friday, you know that she must have done her homework going into this match. Yeah, she's relatively new to pro wrestling, but she is taking on an extremely tenured veteran. And I know Mia is ready. Look, at she is all fired up. Joining us back in Mission Pro, did a little trip over to Japan with Ice Ribbon. I'm very excited to continue to see Mia's growth, future international tours. But right now, she's got to get through one of the original gatekeepers of Texas Pro Wrestling. And her opponent from Fairbanks, Alaska, the megastar, Angel Blue. Now, when you have a career that spans 15 years the way that Angel Blue does, that's a lot of time to build a reputation. And sometimes those reputations can be positive, they can be negative. Well, Angel Blue has definitely set a tone with the Texas faithful here tonight. Yeah, Angel Blue, if there's one thing I can say about her is she doesn't care what you think about the megastar. You can hear an extremely vocal competitor. But to get a little bit serious for a moment, she's also someone who suffered what seemed like it might be a career-ending injury, and it really was a blow to the scene here in Texas. And whoa, and now Angel Blue and all of her charming personality, it's bad. Okay, not, not the butt wipe, Angel Blue, come on. But she's back, baby. And we're all better for it. My bias is showing. I just really enjoy the antics of Angel Blue, as long as I'm not in the ring with her. Oh, right here in the front row, this is a rivalry that has spanned the decades. Now here, Walker, we see an interesting dichotomy. Angel Blue jaw jacking with the fans. Meanwhile, Mia Friday has has eyes locked on Angel Blue this whole time. She is ready to go. She is focused. You know, I, I don't think the smile has dropped off of Mia Friday's face since she's walked through our entryway. This is a woman who loves to compete inside the squared circle. The thrill, no pun intended, the thrill that it brings her tonight at MPW Thriller is second to none. Oh, hold on. We might get a test of strength. I don't know if this is a good idea for Mia Friday. Look at those guns on Angel Blue. 15 years worth of confidence here for Angel Blue, making her wrestling debut back in April of 2008. A, as you said, a tenured veteran. <laughs> We're seeing some of these veteran-like tactics here out of Angel Blue tonight. Taking it to Mia Friday. Oh, but here we see the quickness of Mia Friday on display, springing into an arm drag. Mia Friday, incredibly, incredibly well versed in all aspects of the squared circle, including up to the high rent district. Through with the arm drag. You know, Mia Friday, just a little bit over three years in ring experience. Compare that to the 15 years of Angel Blue. You definitely would think on paper this matchup would benefit a woman like Angel Blue. But Blue got dropped, and Mia Friday really stringing it together here. This could be over real fast. Angel Blue scampering and scurrying over to the corner. Can't be pinned if you're in the ropes. That's smart strategy. Oh, and Angel Blue sending Mia Friday right into that middle turn buckle. And one thing I've, I've started to notice out of Angel Blue since she's made her way to ringside tonight, very vocal whenever she's inside the squared circle. And it's not just to Mia Friday, it's to all the fans here at ringside. It's hard not to notice. Oh, chop with a little, little extra on it by Angel Blue, who has really slowed down the pace of this match. And this, I think is a speed, is a tempo that more benefits Angel Blue. We've seen Mia Friday so quick, so evasive. 
But Angel Blue. Devastating hip attack from Angel Blue making her Mission Pro Wrestling debut tonight. Cover here for Angel Blue off the hip attack. Not even a two count. Strictly at one for Angel Blue. Blue though, relentless. Looking to tie up Mia Friday once again. Almost a modified stump puller. Uh, I can't even see. This might have to be a verbal tap out here because Mia Friday is all tied up. Oh, hold on. Mia's starting to reposition herself. Throwing some elbows. Anything she can do to try and battle back out of this position she's currently in. But Veda, you and I both know Mia Friday is a fighter. She is not going to give up lightly, and Angel Blue might be underestimating Mia Friday in that regard. Oh! Hip attack from Mia Friday. Without, without the pre-contact concert, though, I will say. So perhaps not as effective. Angel Blue able to capitalize. Hook in the leg. Again, this is a rough day at the office for the officials of Mission Pro Wrestling. You know, the last time that we saw Mia Friday, oh, oh my, oh my, what a, well, this is definitely unique. This is the reason she calls herself the megastar. Mia Friday's head ricocheting off the ropes. Another cover. Angel Blue cover, two. Angel Blue's full body weight put into that pinfall attempt, and Mia Friday still fighting her way. And here we go, Mia creating a little bit of distance, which is smart, but wait a second. I think maybe Mia got herself inadvertently in position. Oh, but perhaps a trap baited her in. That back suplex connected, and Mia Friday Looks like she's starting to fire back up. Everyone in the room is behind Mia. How can you not be as she fights through this? Oh, but Angel Blue throws the first shot. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of energy out of both of these women. And Mia Friday, last time we saw her, she was challenging alongside MJ Santana for the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. She did so unsuccessfully. However, tonight, oh. Well, and let's keep in mind that MJ Santana betrayed her. They, they seem to be very, very close friends. And I have to wonder if that is in the back of Mia's head here looking to show MJ Santana and pull out a win. As Mia taking down Angel Blue, swinging a miss by Blue. Mia Friday off the ropes, caught on the side of the knee strike. Mia Friday looking a little more aggressive now. Big Fisherman Suplex holding the bridge. An incredible bridge there by Mia Friday. The separation created between Angel Blue and Friday. Friday's going to have to stay on top of Blue here, though, Veda. Yeah, once again, Angel Blue keeps trying to keep some distance here, pulling herself up by the ropes. Mia charges in, diving forearm. Oh, hold on, Angel Blue, Angel Blue able to catch Mia Friday into a backpack stunner. That's got to be it. Time and again, we have seen Angel Blue use Mia Friday's own momentum against her. Showing her experience. But now, this is where things can fall apart for Angel Blue. She's got to keep that um, unique personality under control. Look at this from Mia Friday. Out with the air raid crash neck breaker. The cover for Friday. That one's it. Here is your winner, the weekend wonder child. Friday with a big win here in Mission Pro Wrestling at the last moment able to turn the tide and put Angel Blue away and this has to feel good for Mia 
not just to get a victory over such an established pro wrestler like Angel Blue, but like we said, with everything that went down between Mia and MJ Santana, I think that Mia just really needed this. This is a moral victory too. A uh, one and three record for Mia Friday turns two to three, two wins, three losses. She is continuing the upward shift in momentum.